Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR VD Shooter and today I wanted to show you something that I threw together with various parts that has really made this kind of setup much easier when it comes to monitoring. Um, the problem with using something like this, this is a monitor arm. Uh, this one is from PNC. It's actually a great monitor arm, but I've found that I really don't like it when it comes to using an actual monitor on a cage like this. And the reason for that is, let's say I'm holding this thing and I'm filming and I decide I'm gonna get a low shot, right? So right now, you know, it's kind of set up where it's, it's facing me. With a monitor arm, I'm holding the camera with one hand and I have to somehow juggle loosening up and holding it so that I can readjust it. And there's just so many points and once you get it where you want it, it's really difficult to tighten it down while the monitor is set up. And then you have to keep tweaking it. What you end up doing is forcing it to move while it's still a little tightened down. That damages this over time. So it's just not a good, not a good setup uh, for this particular setup. If you're on a tripod where you have both hands to work with, it's much better. This setup is using 50 millimeter rod going horizontal across the camera and it allows me to easily adjust the camera monitor. So here I have the setup. Um, let's say, you know, right now it's kind of set up where I'm on a tripod and um, I'm watching my screen. Let's say I pop this off the tripod and want to get a low shot. On this setup, I can just grab it with top handle and then all I have to do is grab this whole thing and tilt it down. Now I have a nice low setup with the monitor and then I can just easily move it back up. All of that is due to this 50 millimeter rod right here. So I keep this little knob uh, tight enough where it's not going anywhere at all, but um, loose enough where I can just rotate it like this. One hand, really easy to do. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the parts. Uh, obviously I'm using my wooden camera cage. You could use any other cage and to start this all you need is a male quarter 20 uh, thread so right here I have a screw going through my handle out to the other side the next thing I have is one of these um, see if I get a better lighting on this thing one of these little uh, quarter 20 female um, threads you can get these with monitor arms if you already have one you know, they just attach right here. Just one of those guys right there. And then I have this guy right here. And all this is, is a female quarter 20 uh, to 15 millimeter rod. Now, when you screw this on, it might be at a funky angle. So what I have in between the bolt essentially and the adapter is a washer. So you can have different, I have just a bag of old washers and uh, found one that was the right size so that this guy lined up perfectly. Tightened it really nicely. And then I just have a 15 millimeter rod. This is actually, um, you can get these rods. I've done a video on them for pretty cheap. And I actually just cut them. So you can still see I, I haven't painted this yet. Um, but that's a great way to get cheap rods. So this is probably four and a half, five inches long. Uh, and then on the end of that, all you really need is um, another 15 millimeter to quarter 20 um, to mount this up. I didn't have one, so I used like a, it's a 90 degree adapter from 15 millimeter rod to another 15 millimeter rod. Um, so it's not really perfect, but what's cool is you can see here, I actually run the power cable from my monitor through that 15 millimeter hole. And uh, so I use it and it works. Uh, and then I'm going from the 15 millimeter rod to a female cold shoe. I use these all the time and this is a specific brand that I use. There's lots out there, but they all suck. This is the only one I've liked so far. It's from J-Rod. You're gonna pay a little more, probably 15 bucks per pop, but they're tanks. I have like four of these suckers on various things and it's great because I can throw the monitor at anything. And you wouldn't, you could go straight from this adapter to the monitor itself, but I wanted the flexibility of being able to turn the monitor to the side. So if I had this thing screwed down, uh, to turn it to the side, I'd have to, you know, disassemble it. Whereas this way, if I have a client off to the side or I have a second monitor, I can easily rotate it. And since I do my show and the camera is uh, obviously in the wrong position, I'm not behind it. This way I can easily rotate it around. Um, but for the most part, the idea is this thing lives in one position. So you find out where you want to put it and then you just lock it down. And then to adjust it, you just actually uh, move everything around. So that is my 
EVF slash monitor setup. Um, what's cool about this is you could adapt these rods and change it up so that you have the monitor out here. And that way when you have this mounted, you could have a really nice uh, EVF setup. So that's one way to do it. Um, but I've really liked this setup. I've really enjoyed shooting with it. And uh, if you're able to build something like this, you're definitely not going to want to go back to monitor arms. Now, this is how I built it with all these different parts. If you don't want to deal with parts and all that kind of stuff, you can purchase one of these. There's tons of different brands. One of the cheapest and best out there though is the Edelkrone one. Uh, that's around, I think, $160, $170. So that'll take good care of you uh, if you just want to out of the box, ready to rock and roll. Otherwise, you can buy all these parts on Amazon and B&H and uh, build one yourself. So that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for more reviews and tutorials and check out DSLRVideoShooter.com for more filmmaking gear and tutorial content.